The complaint alleges Goshen Community Schools has violated Title IX and has discriminated against female athletes. We have a copy of the complaint, but it has been heavily redacted. The Office for Civil Rights, or OCR, has begun its investigation, and investigators have visited Goshen. Goshen school leaders say they were surprised when they learned someone had filed a sex discrimination complaint against the district. We take, you know, we're taking this very seriously as a district, um, but, you know, no, although we don't believe there are inequities, or um, we do, you know, want to be in full cooperation of what, you know, to address this complaint. The Office for Civil Rights is responsible for enforcing Title IX, which prohibits discrimination on the basis of sex in any education program that receives federal funding. That includes athletics. The complaint alleges there are inequities between the girls' softball facilities compared to the boys' baseball facilities. According to documents and letters provided to WSBT through a Freedom of Information request, the March 14th complaint alleges that Goshen Community Schools is discriminating against female athletes. It says the school district is failing to provide them equal provision of locker rooms and practice and competitive facilities. It's unclear who made the complaint, but in the filing, the person said the discrimination was happening against someone else and that the person had not tried to resolve the complaint in another way. What we do know is both our baseball and softball facilities are in need of updating. Um, unfortunately, right now we're landlocked as a district, but we have been and continue to look at options for um, in the future at some point um, updating those facilities would be the goal. School leaders say they've been working for ways to improve both the softball and baseball facilities. Right now, the high school's JV and varsity softball teams practice and compete at Shanklin Park, a city-owned park, which is about a six-minute drive from the high school campus. The mother of a softball player tells WSBT the girls change in locker rooms at the high school and then find a way to get to the park on practice and game days. The mother says the park is prone to flooding and games have been canceled or relocated. On the other hand, Goshen's varsity baseball team practices at Fend Field. It sits across U.S. Highway 33 from Goshen High School. School administrators say there's a lack of parking there. The JV baseball team practices and plays at Pringle Park, which is also a seven-minute drive from campus. How does Goshen compare to those types of schools when it comes to softball, baseball? I think people come here and are jealous of our facilities, honestly, for our student athletes. Um, softball and, and baseball, like I said, you know, we have been, you know, exploring ways that we can update those facilities. Those would be the two sports where we know, right, there are limitations to the quality of the fields right now, and we want to rem remedy that. The OCR is in the process of investigating the complaint. School leaders say they've already provided documentation to investigators and were present when investigators came to tour the facilities. The OCR is a neutral fact finder and will determine whether the school district is complying with title laws. Since 2012, there have been 10 other Title IX complaints against Goshen Community Schools. In two cases, the complainant withdrew the allegations. In one case, the allegation lacked enough details to infer discrimination. In another, a case involving special ed, in 2015, there was an early resolution reached between the two parties. All the remaining cases have not been resolved, but include issues unrelated to this current athletics investigation. I'll put Put these documents online so you can see them for yourself and more information from Goshen's athletic department about how it handles uniforms and field prep. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.